of I'm Ian. I'm Justin. And we're here today with Manon Matthews. Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. No. You're welcome. No, thank welcome. you, Mr. Akavano. Listen, I'm I'm really sorry. For what? You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're sorry. What's sorry. funny? You know what's funny? What? Is, uh, Tell me. Back in the day, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Paul, we used to send out random texts to people, and just we would just simply say, "I accept your apology." Oh my gosh. <laughs> to, to, to random people that we didn't really talk to that much, and you know their their heads just go, "Huh? Whoa." <laughs> Wait, what the <laughs> Oh my god, what did I What did, did I, I apologize to that person? What did, did I, I do? What did I do to them? Oh my gosh. Do did yeah. people say thank you? <laughs> Some people would go, "Okay. What are you talking about?" <laughs> right? Other people though, and it, it's an interesting little like you delve deep into the psyche of people cuz you know, and you figure out what kind of person they are. Cuz some people are like "What the fuck? I didn't apologize about shit." <laughs> I would probably write back and I accept yours. Right. Yeah. Some people would just go, yeah, it's cool. No, just to no try problem. To play it off. Yeah. I, I would either say that or just not respond. And I'm, I accept I'm yours. What yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> just or, play with it. Or another, another good one is, you know, that's probably not what I would have done. Oh. Did, you, did you try running that by somebody first? Oh, classic. Classic. You know, it, oh, dude, it, the responses you get are absolutely insane. You could tell a lot about a person by just talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> From the book of man in <laughs> chapter two, verse three. <laughs> in person? <laughs> or over the phone. Oh, God, who does that anymore? Jeez. You know, you can really learn a lot about a person by talking to them. <laughs> yeah. It used to be That's like going so through their trash or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we're going direct. <laughs> <laughs> what, like they did back in ancient times? Oh, you mean people you just talk not to texting? Them. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. You just say hello and see how they respond. and You just get a knock at the door <laughs> and you're like, hey, I'm here. I'm here to talk. Yeah, I was going to text, but I thought that this would be better. That's so funny. Just, yeah. I prefer talking in person. I, yes. Or, or, or over anything. I'm the worst texter. Well, you are a pretty it's stressful. bad texter. In, I'm terrible. I'll yeah. just write one word, and yep. then everyone will think I'm mad at them. Right, uh, right. I'll say, you're being really curt. Are you okay? And I'm like, I just get stressed out pushing the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like such a task for me. It is a task. That's or why you I like sending voice notes. You're a late responder. Oh, that's – Yeah. I you know. are a late responder. Well, because in my mind, I go, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to that in a second. Yeah. Right, and right. And the second becomes forever. Four, four weeks. It's the like main. that meme with the skeleton. <laughs> be here waiting for your text like, uh. <laughs> The main thing with text is, is uh, inflection in voice and personality. Yeah, I've gets learned really that I lost. have to put emojis, emojis or like exclamation points. Right. Otherwise, people think you're in a bad mood. Uh-huh. It's not fair. I, it's not. I, I don't, like, think don't put that be. on me. Right. So I heard someone share the other day that they don't have to respond. You and don't. And I went, what? Actually, that person was me. I, I told everybody that. <laughs> you don't have to respond. You're setting the precedent. You, you also said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like to have conversations with myself. Did, were you texting <laughs> yourself? I was texting myself. You don't have to respond. Respond to everyone. And then I wrote and then back, you wrote back to myself, what? 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 <laughs> and then took a screenshot and then sent and then that, sent to, that to yourself. And then responded, what? What? I put the question questioned it <laughs> that's that's becoming a response within itself it's like harding people's stuff oh yeah that that's a that's a good like that's a uh, good, like i saw you and i accept you but yeah. i'm not gonna say anything back it, well it's, let's just it, well it's just a, i think we should go over the, what the rules of texting are right now what are like there's rules there's, i, I oh think my. there's rules like texting I like, is appropriate. i like the mild hold on, acknowledgement hold on. let's let's talk about this i think texting is appropriate if you pull up in front of somebody's house i'm here that's an appropriate text instead of calling them to tell them instead that you of are saying here. saying you're here when you weren't invited. To tell you, hey, <laughs> I love you. I don't think this is really working out, but not appropriate no, via that text. Should be, that should right? be at not. least written in a letter. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Notarized. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Licked and stamped. And <laughs> a notarized <laughs> letter. Yeah, because you need to involve somebody else. Dear yeah. Charles. <laughs> Dearest Charles, all time 
together. Has cometh to a halt. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Well, you know, my my feather quill and, and ink were gone, so I just dragged it on for I another six months. I think there should be rules to texting. Like, those fucking, like, wrote a novel. We talked about that the other day. Yeah. Somebody wrote you a novel, right? Someone will write you a no- me a novel expressing all their feelings. And, and all like, their oh, points. I prefer to do this in person so you can <clears> see that I'm coming from my heart. Right. True. So, like, people communicate in different ways, which is difficult because we, we, I, yeah, I can't match that. I can't match a novel. <laughs> but then in person, they won't say anything. And so it's really confusing. Well, people are very, uh, people like to avoid confrontation. So a lot. they'll just do it through text. Right. Yeah. I think that too, or afraid to be interrupted. Oh, that too. That's a really That's good a one. Big yeah, you one. get everything out. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, circle back. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start texting. Now that we've gone over that was the rules heavy. of texting. I, I will allow Man myself one tear. Welcome <laughs> to the Redemption Podcast. And that's all for this one. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to do this through text. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. What? We'll be reading that's the rest it. of Manon's interview what? here via text <laughs> with one word answers. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> maybe. The third okay? Fuck. <laughs> Monday? Uh-huh. <laughs> We're still here next week wait, waiting for the letter. Mm, try the veal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you, what do you think so about asking people out through text? Kind of lame. Huh? Kind of well, I kind of lack <laughs> lacks courage. Oh lacks, no, that you yes. have to absolutely call. Oh. I don't call. know. I mean, yeah, we right? are we yeah, are. If you can't do it in person, at don't least do it call. at all. Oh. Don't do it at all. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think yes. Yeah, at least call. But I don't know. We're older than a lot. I, I don't. I, I can't keep up with the the thumb generation. I can't. Me neither. I can't. Maybe that's how they do. Or they Tinder swipe. Oh yeah. That's a weird one too. That's a weird one too. Yeah. Well, because it's the you know I mean, it's the most shallow way of going about dating. Dating. It's, it takes it's no courage because you can't really feel rejection. Like, like. That's what's so great about doing it in person is your the courage it takes to actually walk up to them. Right. To, Correct. To come up with the words and actually utter them and wait for the response. And not get a trophy for losing. <laughs> it's a numbers wait, game. What? Well, because in this day and age, like everybody gets a trophy participation for coming trophies. Participation, participation trophies. Yeah. Yeah, so and you can't get a trophy for losing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to sit with it and go, okay, what what do I need to work on? Is it me? It's probably them, right? It's not personal. Now I, I have to not. go to the next person. You know, my my brother is six years younger than me. And handsome. Oh, he's a handsome. Handsome. Guy. handsome well, where is he? What's he doing? <laughs> he's, in, he's, he's in Maui. He's in Maui. Living banging, it up. Banging tourists. Wow. <laughs> you know, no, but he's, we have the same birthday, six years apart. That's it's bizarre. really inconvenient for you guys. Or, or fun. Very convenient. Why? For your parents. They don't they only have to Yeah, they only gotta go day. shopping once. Yeah. <laughs> you sh- share it. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know. It, it's weird though, because we were born in September. So it was like So I, on your birthday they were like, We have to go to the hospital. Well, no, I think they've only had sex twice ever, ever. on New Year's. <laughs> and that's their mating season. <laughs> and then nine months later <laughs> Here you go. That's Happy so birthday, strange. here's a brother. Yeah. Were you happy with that gift? Yeah, I was. <laughs> he's a gift. He's a he gift. really is a, <laughs> gift. a gift. He's a gift. <laughs> but what, so he's living out there in Maui, and he tells me all about his escapades, you know, trying to date and stuff. And it's, he was like, I've tried to take your advice and go up to women in public, and you know, j- and you know, and he's smooth. He's attractive. He's you know. He's a good person. He goes, it's almost as if this day and age, like it, especially like his age and younger, he's 32. Um, he goes, I get almost like weird looks. Like, like who are you? Like, what do you do? Why are you talking to me, creep? You're supposed to be swiping yeah, on me. Yeah, because it's abnormal. That's it like, is. I guess that's not a, as common anymore. It's Unless it, you're like forced to talk to people, it is a little strange. It's really bizarre. To you in a, in a, I like guess. It, it depends on who you are, though. It's unfortunate that he's doing that and that, that he's getting that response. Oh uh, no! I mean, it's bizarre that that's the response. It is. Not it's very bizarre. It's strange. It's it's. I don't know. There's this weird sort of, um, what's the word? It's a uh, dis. You know, disconnect and disdain. No, no, no. Well, sometimes. <laughs> no, that's after he's already dated them. <laughs> dated them. 
Dated. Um, he just did air quotes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for dated. Thank you. Dated thank you now for means <laughs> we don't have video on us. <laughs> right. Dated equals been inside. <laughs> been in, yes. Yes. Made love. Made love. Mm-hmm. Made the way. love. <laughs> Made the love. Made the love. Yeah. But like, you know, there's a weird sort of disconnect though. And it's I don't know. It, it's strange. It's I would I'm glad I don't have to navigate the the dating climate right now. Because he tells me all about it, and it's, uh, it's interesting. I think coffee shops are a cool place to meet oh, people. Yeah, yeah, because there's no pressure. I feel like, I mean, where is, he going, where is he walking up to them? Just like, um, you know, I don't know. In the bathroom? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> right? Don't go in there. The yeah, that you're would not be <laughs> creepy. That is, yeah, what are you doing? Why are you talking to <laughs> Just me? Just trying to live. <laughs> You know? Just why, let me I'm live. Why are you being standing <laughs> up in here? <laughs> <laughs> Just let me live. Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, wherever you talk to people out in, in Maui, you know, uh, the beach, I don't know, weird vegan shops and all sorts of stuff, you know. But I was telling you guys them earlier that I was going to try to be vegan. Well, yeah. I said I was going to cut You said you're going to cut the and cheese. Then Justin made it. <laughs> 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 made a little jokey. <laughs> Are you lactose intolerant? No. No? Lucky, luckily, I'm not. Oh, thank God. But I do feel like when I have cheese, my skin gets puffy. Okay, so uh, moving anyways. on. <laughs> <laughs> Does it also so coincide with your menstrual cycle? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're there. Now, now we're, we're there. <laughs> I am okay. on my period. Do you like periods? I think they're great. I'm, I'm <laughs> Here's what's great about them. More in heat. So like more sensitive and excited, Ooh. but more emotional. Mm. Anyway, you don't say. My name's Manon. I'm partial <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> my name's. <laughs> I'm, I'm partial to semicolons. Oh. You've I always like, yeah, not periods. Before periods, I like exclamation points are my favorite. Mm. That I also like a good question mark. Yeah. yeah in in texting they're, they're exclamation points, I I put exclamation points so people don't know that I'm this cynical like I'm like. No, I really am excited to do yeah. whatever the thing is. Yeah. You know, that's I what ne- I do it too. I never like anytime I put exclamation points, I you can guarantee I don't mean it. I'm not I'm not being sincere. Okay, good to know. Mhm. Um Welcome. Thank you. All yeah. right. It's been 18 minutes. <laughs> well, welcome to redemption. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I I guess what about it? <laughs> right? Yeah, what about it? Like, what about it? What was uh, you know, what was it like? What was it like? How was your life like growing up? What was life like as a as a kid? Were you always this weird? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, but I didn't know it, right? Because I was an only child. So I didn't have anything to compare it to. Mm. So I felt very separate from, like, birth. So that's my main <laughs> struggle is feeling separate. Like I've so had an umbilical cord <laughs> until age six. I still have it on. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's hanging from my but shirt. But that, that's what makes <laughs> you disgusting. cool. Like you and I are friends and I always say like the coolest thing about you is you dance to the beat of your own drum. Thank if you guys knew Manon like personally, like I know her, like she dances to the beat of her own drum and you just want to dance with her. Yeah. Like Thank she's you. fucking awesome. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you were that's fucking awesome. awesome. What's crazy about that is in high school, I would start dance parties, but I'd, I'd have to lead and I'd be the only one. And <laughs> at first it was it? like received weird. It was like, <laughs> even on grad night, I was the only one. And, and then by the end of it, everybody was dancing. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you've got to lead where you want people to follow. Was you it like that like scene in Can't Buy Me Love where they were doing the African anteater dance? <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that. You've never seen Can't Buy Who's Me the Love? the star of it? C. Thomas. Wasn't it C. Thomas Hell? Be the... Or Patrick Dempsey. Be the change you wish be to see the world. Be the dance change. Be the dance change you want to be in the world. Dance the way you want to see it being... <laughs> you took the brain thought out of my head. <laughs> yeah, I can, see, I can hear people's thoughts. Something you should know about me. I yes. hear everyone's thoughts. Really? So stop it. Okay. Just kidding. So dance party. <laughs> there we were. Cut it out, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Okay, what? Well, there we were, dance party. dance party. You started the dance party. Yeah. Dancing to the beat of your own drum. It's didn't know you were weird. Didn't know I was weird. I didn't. I still don't know that. So You're I'm awesome. insulted. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. No, I feel like I'm like not that. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I try not to compare anymore. That's good. That's the. That's what causes me the most suffering. Oddly enough, if for you, for most of you who probably won't know me or do know me, I'm a social. I'm an actress, comedian, but I'm. I also am. A social media influencer, which I hate that word. An it's influencer. So, it's so lame. 
Yeah, like what? I'm influencing people to hopefully laugh, but <laughs> to dance. It's just <laughs> to has to, to dance, dance and be to weird. Dance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. I invite people to, you know, I've gotten plenty of emails from young girls that are like, you've inspired me to be bring out my goofy side. So that's pretty cool. That's Same. awesome. Same. Same. You get those emails as well? Yeah. No, you've just inspired Janice me to bring out my Janice 1999? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. What? She's a liar because shout she out said Janice. I was the only one. Stand- <laughs> shout out Janice. Um, le- what, yeah, so that made me feel separate growing up. Um, bonded. I had a great childhood. I really did. Like, there should be no reason why I, you write, like, most of my issues are of the mind and stem from feeling alone in the world. And so in order to make myself feel better, I did anything and anything to do that. Started with sugar. Sugar. Mm. Oh, love a good sugar. My dad reminds me of when I was like one or two. He he made me feel better with ice cream. And so I blamed him for a long time. I said, you wired my feelings (laughs) to sugar. He takes, he doesn't remember anything. It's not really his fault. But no, I, I like to put the point the finger at other people. Of course. Because that's, that's how you get through it. Well, when, <laughs> we, <laughs> when we point the finger at other people, it gives us a reason not to have to change. Because yeah, if exactly. I can make you wrong for all my problems, why should I have to change? Yeah, and then I can keep doing what oh, I'm yeah, doing and not, and not grow. But oh, also, yeah. also easy, some, easy. <laughs> some people just need a good reprimand every now and then. <laughs> yeah, especially our parents. Right. They love it. I know. They're like, bring it on. They were they were just winging it, you they know. They were doing the best they could. They were at doing the, time. the best they could at the time. They didn't know but any better. If they would have, they would have done better. Yeah. And now that I look back, with like being of sound mind and body, <laughs> so you say. So I say. <laughs> that I'm, I'm like, oh my god, they killed it. <laughs> they did right, great, like right? My, if my right. dad wasn't the way he was, I would not be who I am. Or you wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be alive because <laughs> you needed love to live. Babies that don't get loved die. I beg to differ. Really? I made it. But you you had some love. You must have had some love. I did have a little love. Love could just even being around it. Yeah. It doesn't mean like, I need to give you a hug and kiss you. It's just no, like they, just being around the right. thing. No, but you're right. They have to have like skin on skin contact and everything. Yeah. Otherwise, they will literally die. They will literally I mean, die. And then we stop doing it and stop needing it just because we get older. No, that's not fair. You know, we need we still need that touch. All Absolutely. you need is love. My mom. Did <laughs> did <laughs> did is love. Love. Love is all you need. Uh, do we have to pay the Beatles for that? No. Okay. No. Just because no. sure. you just quoted them. Because we quoted mm-hmm. them. So you're allowed to do whatever. You okay. Want. My mom always says to this day, she's like, you know, no matter how old and big you get, you'll never be too old to sit on my lap. And I'm like, it's it's getting weird now. That. That's yeah, it's sweet. Weird. Though. It's sweet, but it did sound weird when you said it. Yeah, maybe. It's Espe- maybe it was my, in your voice. <laughs> it was the tone of my voice. Yeah. It was in your voice. Yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. My dad will still like put his finger on his cheek as if like I'm supposed to kiss him on the cheek, and it just you know I do it because it's sweet, but it it feels weird. Right. Because I'm older now, so yeah. I, a, a good hug's good for me. I get a that. good a hug. long hug <laughs> for my dad. Is Thanks, good. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I remember the last time my mom made me tongue kiss her. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. how, how did that go? Uh, you know, she loves me. Was she asleep? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's why uh, we love man. Everybody has their, their stuff. Yeah, you know, like I, it's, I, I owe ornaments. <laughs> I see a lot of do, how how do, how do you guys do with like mouth kisses with your parents? Because I mm-hmm. I never grew up doing that. So when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So I know. Yeah, but that, it's, it's that's my thing. It's, it's not, you know, it'd be I, weird for my dad. I mean, he's dead since the 90s. That would be really <laughs> weird, weird yeah. if your dad. Kissed we had a you mouth kiss mouth. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you Keep know his body in yeah. the <laughs> garage. No, totally. no, with no with dad. Um, mom will occasionally like sneak one in, and I'm like, hey, my mom. Come on. And I'm like, nah, I love you. Okay, you know, here. And like, that's kind of sweet. Here's yeah. a secret. I hate lipstick on women to this day, especially if they like pile it on. Because when my grandmother used to kiss me when I was a kid and fucking smear that shit all over my face. See how that stuff stays? I can't Whatever stand Whatever happens lipstick. to us when we're a kid is mm-hmm. like vital for our adult. No, like Brandy will come out. What do you think? 
And I'll be like, I think you need to wash your fucking face. (laughs) (laughs) And she washes everything but the lipstick. No, because then she gets that shit that you can't smear off. You better take that lipstick off or I'm going to chain you back up to the radiator. (laughs) Just like Joker. (laughs) Yeah, it's funny. Wow. Funny, not funny. So have you always, you know, been a comedian per se? Like, yeah, I, mean, I have really funny parents. Both my I was parents ask. are very funny. My dad's really witty and and like kind of kind of loud with his humor. And my mom has more of like a she's funny if you listen for it. Mm. She has kind of a stoner sense of humor, if that makes sense. Like sure. The Simpsons. I feel like the Simpsons, the Simpsons. is funny to <laughs> with her, like really funny. It's funny right. in general, but like I don't know. If you're stoned, it's very funny. No, if I you're stoned. <laughs> If, if you're, you're stoned, anything's kind of funny, right? If you're stoned, I'm fucking hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. So both of my parents were really funny, so I modeled them a lot. And then I think when I was eight, I did uh, – my dad – I went up to Canada, and my whole family was there and family friends, and my dad put a fart cup in my stocking for Christmas. And it's mm. a thing where you put your hand in it, and it makes the noises. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Called, it's not called a fart cup today, but like 15 years ago. It was 20, call, 20 it was years called ago, a it? vagina. Oh, <laughs> nasty. Oh, God. That's disgusting. <laughs> now they're called flarp cups. Flarp. Vaginas? 20 years. No. <laughs> oh. Um, a fart, fart cup. Fart cups. Okay. Which is a putty in a cup mm. that makes a fart noise. Right, right, right. <laughs> Are now called yes. Are now called flarp cups. Gotcha. Why am this I never heard of this? We're boys and we've never like, heard of this. They yeah, they sell them in stores as like little fun things that you get kids. Little gag gifts, little Spencer's gifts. Actually, the point like is next to the whoopee cushions. Yeah, and next stuff. to the whoopee. Yeah, yeah. Next to the whoopee Goldberg. <laughs> next to whoopee, whoopee Gold- Goldberg. Goldberg cushions <laughs> at the Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> whoopee Goldberg has no eyebrows. Does she not? No. It's so bizarre. Oh, my God. I never noticed. <laughs> Check it out when you get a moment. I was too busy looking at that ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I did a dance when I was eight. You did a dance? With this thing behind my back. I put the, the cup, flarp cup. I put the flarp cup behind my back and <laughs> did a dance. <laughs> did Like, it was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and and they my family died like they were rolling on the floor because I took it really serious <laughs> and if the feeling felt so good to make them laugh that the next night I had to do it again but I had to make an announcement because I was scared it wasn't going to be as funny so I said attention tonight's fart show may not be that funny <laughs> and they already started laughing because what who says that right what kind of statement what kind of eight year old says that attention <laughs> you were so serious tonight's fart show may not be that funny. <laughs> So then from that point on, I thought, I really like making people laugh. Um, and then it kind of took its, then I did it in, in with the cheerleaders in middle school. and The flarp they, cup? Yeah, I did, no, no, no. I did other <laughs> weird things. You're like, all right, let's make the cheerleader pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. That would have been great. Pete, they would have hated me. Uh, totally. I was only a cheerleader for a year. I wasn't very cheery. No? Let's, let's be real. You're cheery. You think so? I think you're one of the che- wow. pretty cheery. I wasn't always. <laughs> I was always the person that people would be like, oh, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? And I'd be like, nothing. I'm fine. But not knowing that I <laughs> very was not emo. fine. <laughs> yeah, I was very emo. <laughs> people would come to the restaurant that I worked in and be like, you look tired. I'm like, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm just writing That's poetry. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking at your nutrition facts? What are you doing? What? Or are you just holding oh. the cup? Yeah, I'm I thirsty. See. I was thirsty. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I like to make people laugh. Not as much anymore. Like, it comes from a different place now. Whereas in my early 20s, it was like, I needed you to laugh to know that I was enough. Validation. Yeah, now it's like, oh, if it's appropriate, sure, for like a loving setting. Yeah, I'm not going to like do it if it's not. I like harmony, too. Like, I want to produce harmony. So if it's not an appropriate time to laugh. Although I do remember being in a situation with you in a room that I won't name. Where we were laughing at an inappropriate time. What were we a laughing long, about? Years ago. Was it great? It, it was, was so I inappropriate. It was probably. probably really inappropriate. That's and then I walked out of that room. Somebody probably died. Or maybe. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. It's fucked up. And then I walked out of the room and I saw a, f- a flag that said laugh out proud. <laughs> laugh out proud? Yeah. And I was like, that's beautiful. That's that was our moment. 
Yeah. <laughs> laugh out proud. I love that. That's the name of the We my laugh podcast. at some horrible <laughs> shit. <Just> laugh out <laughs> proud. <laughs> Find me. Find me. Yeah. So let's get into the substance abuse piece. Oh. Yeah. Sugar? No, well, from sugar. Sugar to... Heroin. No, no I, I never, I never I got there. I know you didn't. I don't know if I ever... Manon you know, never did heroin, I ladies and gentlemen. I never did heroin because... It's bad. It scared me. Mm. I probably could have, though. I never did heroin either. Really? I never did heroin. Ian's that junkie. <laughs> How was it? Uh, you know, have, like uh, like on a warm, rainy day when you pull a bl- like a big, large, your favorite blanket out of the dryer. That's and, heroin. Or, or, or I mean, excuse <laughs> me, on a cold, rainy day and, and you pull the warm mm-hmm. blanket out of the dryer. Yeah. Mixed with um, cotton candy. Nothing <laughs> in life can affect you ever. I feel like that's how I feel now that's amazing yeah i've like found heroin in <laughs> life by in, in sobriety train, you know in, in be- but yeah. here's, here's always, the thing but that sounds like <laughs> you know that sounds so like glorifying and i won't lie it's wonderful the f- well the first time yeah the first handful <laughs> of times but it very quickly um switches from that to just doing it to um to not be violently ill you know, so that's the. Yeah, I hear it's pretty. Thing. It's pretty rough when you stop and then go back. Yeah. Well, even ju- die even just while you. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Even just while you're doing it yeah. though, it it there's a shift that happens as you, you it starts off and it's awesome, 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 awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a second. I'm not feeling it. It's not as awesome. And then when you don't have it, you're just violently ill, and it just becomes the daily struggle of because it becomes a daily thing and it's it's not so much people have a uh, you know people who don't do stuff like that have a common misconception like oh he just wants to get high and not feel anything it's no it's i'm terrified of feeling this sick you know and so you know you need that to feel baseline normal again right. if you get high that's an added bonus but it, it it you get to a point where that rarely even happens um, yeah, it's such an insidious, awful, awful, awful thing. But in the beginning, it's amazing. <laughs> so you'd say it's better not to even to start. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. For anyone Let listening that's thinking about doing heroin, don't. Don't. No. This is there. <laughs> Drink water instead. Yes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Call someone. Tell Stay us hydrated. about your substance abuse. For you, what was it? What was it? Um, Yeah, I actually do believe that it started with sugar. My mind, I'm very heavily into neuro-linguistic programming, so I'm probably going to reference that at some point. Tony Robbins. Um, Tony Robbins, okay. Marianne Williamson, got it. Who's the NLP guru? What's his name? Um, Tony Robbins. Samuel L. Jackson. (laughs) (laughs) Dakota Fanning. (laughs) Samuel L. Jackson. I want my fucking... Richard Bandler, sorry, is the guy. I want my GPS to sound like... NLP, motherfucker. Make it sound like Samuel. Make a laugh, motherfucker! Make a laugh! You can. You can. <laughs> On ways. They do have that. What? Yeah, Samuel they, L. Jackson for GPS? Sure. Yeah, they, absolutely. I don't There's know if they have it for anymore, that? but they, they did on Waze. Yeah. What? Yeah. And then Morgan Freeman they also had. That'd be too calming for me. It's just God. <laughs> you know? It's just God. <laughs> now you're going to want to take a left. Now you're going to want to take a left. <laughs> and slightly move over to the right. <laughs> now just, stop. Now just halt. You know, see that pretty later, and it's there. fitting because <laughs> he was the star of, of Shawshank Redemption. Redemption, yeah. which brings us back, back to just full circle. Your substance abuse. Substance abuse. What, is what is it? Um, it started when I was fifteen. <laughs> I got high from a brownie. I didn't know that sugar I was like, again. Sugar still. again. Yeah, it had to be. I wasn't gonna smoke because I'm like, no, I'm, I would never do that. But if it's in a brownie, I'll do it. And then I blacked out like the whole night. Your crack was in a brownie. Yeah. And uh, it was actually crazy. I got high from a brownie, had half of it. I was with my friend, blacked out. Woke up in the back of her car, of her mom's car, who was driving. And there were like black, black. Uh, there were like red, and there were like police lights. And her mom's in the front seat. And she's like, "We have to turn around." And I look over at Sarah Grimwade, and she looks at me, and she's like, <gasps> "She's just looking at me, but it's freaked out." And then I blacked out again. And I woke up, and then her mom was in my face, and she's like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "I don't know what you're asking." She's like, "We're at Johnny Rockets. Do you want a hot dog or a hamburger?" <laughs> 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 I 
was a great joke. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh god, that was awesome. I was so like, what do you want, Rick? Johnny Rockets, a hamburger, or a hot dog? Oh, I was, was like great. a hot dog, obviously, and an Oreo shake, and then I blacked out again, and I woke up back in Sarah Grimwade's bed and with McDonald's. And I was oh. like, where's the Johnny Rocket? She's like, oh, it was closed. And I was like, this is crazy. And then I blacked out again and then woke up, and it was in, it was pitch black, and I was on the phone with my boyfriend at the time, and he was crying, and he's like, he was I can't. He drive through a Burger King? He was like, yeah, it's <laughs> with this fast food. He's like, he's like, I can't believe you said that. And I was like, oh, my God, what did I say? He's like, you know what you said. I was like, I really don't. Oh, no. And he's like, you said I love you. And I was like, oh, pfft. I do. I mean, Click. I, yeah. But then I was like, but I was like, I will never do that again. But then I did do it again. You told him that you <laughs> loved him? No, I've never <laughs> <laughs> be high again. Through text. Yeah, yeah through oh No, this was, was bef- no t- yeah, this was before I'm believing this way. way. This was before right. text. We're not dating. We're not calling you old or anything. No. We're not dating you, but I'm believing but no, this was, was no pre-cell text. phone. This text was coming up. It was coming up, but it this was yeah, phone calls. I'm old enough to remember swatch phones. Do you guys remember swatch phones where you could click it had two headsets so you can both be on three-way in the same room? You oh. just made that up. No, I swear no. to Christ, dude. I no, swear to God. Swatch crazy. phones. I, I had am a, the oldest one I had on a, this podcast. I had a, yeah. I had a pager. Yeah. I had a beeper. I had a beeper. It was green. It was green? Motorola? It was only my dad, though, that beeped me. I had a clear one. And I liked that I had it. <laughs> right. 911, man. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He's like, I just want to say hi. <laughs> um, speaking of hi. Okay. So, okay, I so I did, that was I the didn't, first time you honest, got high. I really didn't love the weed. Okay. I liked drinking. You did? Yeah. Tell us about the your first, first drink. first time I got drunk around the same time, I think 15 or 16, and it was at my parents' house. They were gone, and I was with the same Sarah. Sarah Lathwaite? <laughs> Grimwald. Grimwald. Grimwade. 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 Griswold. You know what's crazy? Sarah People Griswold, if you're listening. Grimwald. Listen. They always said Grimwald, and I was like, no, it's Grimwade. Is Sarah Grimwade? Griswold, if you are listening right now, <laughs> she, I pray she's not we listening. We love you. <laughs> She was such an influence. Now that I'm thinking about it, you Not horrible only did person, she Sarah. Me to drink and get high. She was the problem. Of course, she Alcohol's was. Alcohol's not my problem. It's Sarah Grumway. <laughs> These damn in- and influencers. <laughs> thank you. That was the end of our podcast. We figured out the root of Manon's problem. Sarah Grumway. <laughs> tune in, tune in next week when we'll blame somebody else for some shit. <laughs> Okay, so there so we were. I took, so th- I think my parents must have had some vodka because I remember it being clear. I think it was vodka or something that was clear. Maybe is whiskey sometimes clear? <laughs> so is no. urine <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was water. Okay, people. So, so I had some vodka. It was disgusting. But I really liked the way that it made me feel. Right? You know, that warm feeling of like, warm oh my and God, fuzzies. Everything's, everything's amazing. This is how life is really supposed to feel. It, now I can begin... And I really liked the feeling, and I think I I had a, a, a little bit of it, and then felt amazing, and I was like, okay, I got to do this again, and I think I did do it again, like every weekend, and would black out immediately, and it was it was wonderful because I could be me and confident and feel good and be funny, and I could dance on the tables, but then you know I would throw <laughs> up a lot, <laughs> and I don't dancing think, on I don't tables think while throwing do- up. Well, no, not at the same time. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. not at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, ooh, what a star! And doing the flarp cup <laughs> dance with the flarp cup. So I was making <laughs> people laugh, you know. So I was getting the job done. <laughs> and I just, I was just like, I don't think other people are doing this, right? Like, I don't know. I didn't really know. Other well, at least people not here at tonight. Least not, at least not. At, at <laughs> I was gonna say it. I don't know. What, what's a funny joke? I mean, at least not at. At least not. I was going to say it's synagogue, but I never went to synagogue. Me neither. <laughs> so at least not at your grandma's wake. Wake. Yeah. It's not at your sister's bar mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a s- I do actually have a half sister. Do you? Well, she never. The reason I say I'm an only child is because she never grew up in the home with me. Wait, what's her name? Michelle. Michelle. She's wonderful, but she's in Kansas and she's been there most Forever. of my life. Is she so dad's or mom's? Mom's. Mom's daughter. Mom's, and she's got three boys. Anyway. Anyways. Um, Auntie Manon. Yeah. So there you so were, dancing on a was, table, dancing on throwing tables, up. Throwing up afterwards, making out with anybody that would, which was everybody who could. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but not remembering any of it. I would just like wake up and be like, you with know With the who dead you Kennedys yet? too drunk to fuck playing in the yeah. background. <laughs> Old punk rock shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. New so before my time. Yeah. 
and that lasted for like about seven years and then i was just and then like things got that me, dancing and that, that dancing, throwing up dancing the throwing up and the kissing anybody kissing who would been seven years now holds the guinness book of world <laughs> records for <laughs> longest flarp cup dance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's on page 72. There's a photo. <laughs> and this then lasted co- for seven years. Yeah, on and off. Okay. You know, it wasn't like a daily thing. Okay. Right? It was just like a weekend thing here. and Now playing, man. Now and playing. Matthews, I, was, I would be in relationships, dance. right, with people. And I, so you're not supposed to, like, make out with other people when you're in relationships. But it's I, a rule. I would do it, and then I wouldn't remember it, and then I'd get reprimanded, and I'd be like, ugh. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think that I could, I don't know. So, so then I don't know. It just got progressively worse. Cause college, you can re- you can kind of justify it, or I I did. I was like, well, this is just what everybody's doing. Is that what happens in college? I never went to college. You so. didn't? No. Oh, that's what happened when I went to college. Oh, tell us all about college. Sa- Santa Barbara City College. Ooh, Santa Barbara that's City College. college. That's the party yeah. college. Yeah. Oh, that's where they have that drag, where they have all those bars, like, right on the water. Yeah, there's that, and then there's DP. There's a comedy show there one time. DP, Double Penetration, (laughs) right there on the water. (laughs) Then there's, what's it called? Um, Del Playa. That's the street. Oh, Del Playa. That's the street that everyone went and partied on. Yeah, yours went to street sex. I said went far left. Yeah. There was DP. DP. Really? Tell me about it. (laughs) Um, So, yeah. I don't know. And then I was 23, and I got led to a uh, spiritual awakening where I hit a bottom where I went, I don't want to live this way anymore. I just can't. I can't. Tell Actually, us. what really led it? What really Yeah, led I was going to ask, was what is like, the... What, what happened? You know, because there's many times where people would say, you know, just know your limit. You just got to know your limit. And mm. I'd be like, you don't get it. I think I would have known it by now. I think I would have learned this limit by now. And it would piss me off because I just felt like they didn't understand. Right, 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 right. I don't think alcohol affects us all the same. <laughs> I started learning that it If you guys could look into Manon's eyes right now, she'd say it was off. such vigor and fucking <laughs> still angry. The I motherfucker. Still, I still have a resentment <laughs> of that woman that was like, you just need to know. Like, just have two. I'm like, what do you mean two? What are you talking about? Huh. What's the point of two? What's the point? My dad would be like, just try to have one and just have a beer. I'm like, you asshole. <laughs> right. How dare you tell me to have one? So what happened was... What happened was... Um, <laughs> yeah, I hit a bottom. I didn't want to live that way anymore, and I sought help. And what found, was the precipitating found, event that like kicked it all into high gear when the shit hit the fan? I tried to get... I tried to stop drinking, I think, 2011. I stopped, tried to stop drinking on my own many times. Okay. Um, and because I wasn't waking up drinking, I was like, well, I don't have an issue. You know, right, I'm right, not right. homeless. I'm not... You know, I haven't done heroin. I haven't uh, done X, Y, and Z. So I'm probably don't have it. It's not that bad, right? Well, but usually there's like an emotional bottom that somebody. Yeah. So hit. my emotional bottom was a guy rejecting me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Were you flark dancing Thank for God. him and throwing Thank up? Thank God for that thing? guy because because what? did he reject you via text? <laughs> we were out at a club. <laughs> okay. We were out at a club, and I started dancing with other dudes, even though I invited him out. We had had mm. like three dates that were really meaningful. He actually cried on two of them. Whoa. Oh, wow. And I had never we're seen that before. Heart. Right. I had never seen a guy cry. S- and we were both sober, right? You've like, never seen a man cry? Not when. I'll cry right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now Fuck. I've seen him. I, now that's all I see is male crying. I yeah, see it all the time. It's kind of. But 10 years ago, <laughs> I didn't. 10 years ago I, was with, underrated. Whoever I was interacting with, it just wasn't a common occurrence unless it was right. my boyfriend and we were breaking up. Right, right. right. Or like, you were it cheating. wasn't like someone. <laughs> why, why did he cry? Why did, he just know, felt why really moved by his own story. Like oh. he was talking about his dad. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. We were getting in debt. We were. Just listen. He felt really moved by his own story. He was talking about his dad. He had just come to LA and he was moved by. You know, the industry and how it was tough and his dad came from Cuba and he was talking about it and getting moved and he wasn't drunk and I wasn't drunk and he started tearing up and it was like attraction. I was attracted to his truth, to his conviction. Vulnerability. And his vulnerability. Yeah. And so I really liked him. I liked that. I was, okay. I think at the time I was seeking truth and I didn't know it. So I was attracted to whatever that was going on. So I, he already held stock and value in my mind. And so by the third or fourth date, when I said, okay, do you want to go dancing? I was, it was right at the beginning of January, 2012. And um, 
I had two weeks clean and sober, right? Like I wasn't drinking. I was like, no more wine. I, my, I have ulcerative colitis. I need to stop. I'm starting to really feel like crap. I'm going to do this. And I just moved into an apartment on Moore Park Street um, into my own place for once. Because before then, I was living with three 18-year-olds. I was 23 at the time, and I was living with three 18-year-olds who were all drinking. <laughs> so who the hell was I surrounding myself with? you got to be really careful who you spend your time with. Um, yeah, because we're really? so impressionable. That's how I feel in this moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, it, no, no. Seriously, though, the, there's, there's a lot of truth in that statement because, you know, our time is valuable. I'm our time is precious. You don't realize the, that, though, until you get a little older. Like, your sure. time is super valuable. You know what I mean? Who I want to spend my time with is like. That's the number one thing that I regret uh, through all my years of, you know, getting high and uh, being an absolute maniac, you know, is, is lost time. You know, that time could have been spent so much more wisely. I could have you know, progress so much further in life. And it's just, you know, those thoughts will eat you up though. But yeah, so it is very, val- you know, time is valuable. Time is precious. And you have a choice, you know, about who you spend your valuable, precious time with. Tony Robbins talks about proximity <laughs> is power. <laughs> <laughs> he says, look at the five people you spend the most time with because who they are is who you're going to become. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty smart. My dad used to always say, uh, oh, you still always say, oh, fuck. Wow, that's a great statement. God. I no, sh- he would say, uh, you're, uh, basically, you're a product of your own environment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. It's so true. You, know. you are who you surround yourself yeah. with. Yeah, and so he had, this guy had this vulnerability that I wanted to have, and he had the freedom to feel it. He wasn't concerned, like, oh, well, I'm not going to cry because this is going to make me look bad or blah, blah, blah. I think at the time, I really, really cared about how I was being viewed. It mattered to me what you thought. And so because he seemed free and convicted in his own, he had his own thing going on, and I was very at the mercy of my external sources and looking around and being like, approval, approval, do you like me, do you like me? We went out dancing, and I had no you know, defense against the drink, and I was out, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to drink, so I started having champagne. <coughs> and we got to the club, and I was with a bunch of friends, and he was there, and I, I really, really liked him, and he didn't want to he didn't want to dance and so i went all right well i'm gonna go dance and so i started dancing and dancing with other dudes he didn't like that and so he he said hey i'm gonna get a cab and i'm gonna go and i'm like where are you going he's like well you know you invited me out here and you're dancing with other dudes which in hindsight i'm kind of like it's a little insecure but like just (laughs) if you want if you want me come grab me right like we're not dating yet so whatever there's there's two sides I'm glad he did what he did because it it, <laughs> it it went, wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? He's like, well, I don't like this behavior. It's unattractive to me. Ooh. And I went. I he went, respected himself. He respected really. himself. He he had a girl that he's eye on and the girl's, you know, out there with other dudes. He respected and he's like, himself. I, I'm, he's like, nah, I kind of want someone that's interested in me. And I, follow, I fo- basically followed him outside the club and we spent the rest of the night basically crying and expressing and I couldn't understand why he would leave and how dare he not be attracted to me. How and dare stop he stop drinking the next day. <laughs> really? He's also a pussy too. Yeah, he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> can you Suck even it s- up, bro? Can you even say that in this day and age? I mean without offending anyone. Just did. <laughs> Just did. Pussy. Bitch. Yeah. Pussy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and because that guy wasn't an alcoholic and didn't drink it may you know it really helped because i liked him more than i liked alcohol and so that actually really helped yeah and Hmm. so i spent a lot of time clearing out all the alcohol and and um being around other people that were sober too and that helped and taking advice from people that had come before me that had lives that seemed happy and i started doing what they did and did start getting into marianne williamson and and a lot of spiritual literature and Eckhart Tolle and Tony Robbins and NLP. I got certified as a NLP practitioner. I want to do master that. Pra- you would love it. It's great. It's all about language and how it drives our behavior and our unconscious mind. And that's where all the, hmm. the beliefs and um, patterns and behaviors lay is in our unconscious. Like we can consciously know I shouldn't smoke. It's bad for me. Yet our unconscious will keep reaching for the cigarette until we deal with it at an unconscious level either right before bed or, at a, or upon awakening or in our like sleep state or hypnosis more or less mm-hmm. um and that became like 
that all of that, all of those things, it started with stop drinking and then that, you know, cleared my mind enough to want to seek further and to learn about the way the brain works so that I could basically remove everything that wasn't mine so that I can get back to kind of being a kid into that bliss state again because right, that's where right. I feel like I'm still trying to go is I'm just trying to go home I'm just trying to be free I'm just trying to laugh and play always that's awesome yeah so <coughs> how would you know I, I had a you know you talked about being a, a social media influencer yeah you know, um, how did that come about and how do you think that social media has affected how your craft has formed yeah, so that came about 2013. So not sh- not short, not I started doing stand up 6 months after I stopped drinking. So I didn't even have the courage to get up on stage. I didn't even know that that was a possibility until I stopped drinking. So that was kind of a huge awakening cuz one of my fears with taking alcohol out of the equation was that I wasn't going to be funny. I wasn't going to be able to connect with people as much. I wouldn't be able to like be out, you know, or, or whatever. There was like just fear of, I want to be able to participate in life. How am I going to do this without alcohol? And by the way, what about my dreams? Like, right. hello, it's going to take courage, especially to be out there in public and do all these things. And I think six, six months into being sober, I, I started doing stand up. And then I got on the Vine app, which was a six second app that played videos that would loop. And I, I just had fun with this app. You know, at the time I thought, you know, I want to direct. Maybe if I become an actress, I'll be able to direct sooner. Um, I love doing improv. I love doing stand-up. I love anything creative. I grew up making videos and editing and and I love all of that stuff. And I had fun with this this app. Being an influencer, being having a following wasn't really in the realm of possibilities at the time. So I just did something for fun and for free and eventually it paid off. I ended up doing a Kristen Stewart impression and um, ended up overnight getting like 10,000 followers within a week, 100,000 followers within a month, 500,000 followers, and then eventually up to 3 million. And then, yeah, so that was like six years ago. And then that transitioned into Instagram, Facebook. And since then I've been making comedic content online from that as a result of like, kind of believing in myself and my ability but also putting it under the guides of just being of service really otherwise i'll get in my own way and say you know nothing that i do is funny there's no point which will happen occasionally like i have to constantly get out of my own way everybody's their own worst critic you know what i mean but you're like one of the funniest people i know oh that's so nice oh my god (laughs) not just saying that because you're here at my house you are though you are just saying I am just saying. You are just saying. Yeah, totally. Okay. You, I accept you your apology. To. It's the voice <laughs> in, in the headphones of the voice in your head. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not no, funny but enough. <laughs> you're right, though. Seriously, you're hilarious. My you are. My like, I know her. She's awesome. Oh, She's so you. cool. Well, like, I didn't even know. Like, we went to, where do we go? We went to Universal Studios together for Horror Nights. And, oh, my God, are you mad at me? I'm like, is you one of them famous fellers? What's, what's? She's like, well, kind of, a, kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's like I didn't even know. I was like, why the fuck are these little kids coming up to us, dude? Yeah, they're all eating donuts, the well, biggest donuts oh my, on the, the planet. The biggest Those fucking were so, good. so good. Those were so we good. Should, you know what they have there now that I just realized in the sponsorship announcement? Voodoo donuts. Oh. From Denver, Colorado. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh my god! With the, cheer- the, with the like the Fruit Loops on it the or best whatever. Fucking donut I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Voodoo Donuts is also Portland. Is it Portland? Yeah. I know it's one of them. You know, weed friendly states. So how does the need for great content, you know, affect your day to day and the lengths <sighs> that you're willing to go to get it? You know, do you find yourself ever posting something and then like? Like 10 minutes later being like, this isn't good enough. And then. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've allowed the numbers to determine how good it is, which is sucks. It sucks. Like I'm, I do miss the days where I didn't care about who saw it, how many people saw it. I just posted because it was free freedom. Now, you know, because I've been doing this so long, 
there's like algorithms and who sees what right. and if it doesn't catch a certain number it's m- most people who follow you won't even see it and so it's unfortunate because i will have those thoughts that go this isn't hitting i have to take it down and the people that see it that like it they're like wait i want to see that video and i've allowed the numbers to kind of why do you have to take it down i guess i don't you don't but because now instagram took away at least for me i can't see the number of people that like things can you guys see that i don't know mm, i don't have I'm not really on there that you see that people often. who <laughs> don't have a following are concerned with like the number of likes huh I don't. You're not even on. I'm not even on social media. (laughs) Lucky duck. (laughs) You know, I I I used to be like on Facebook. Yeah. And I'm like, if this doesn't get at least you know a hundred likes or something, I'm going. No, I wouldn't take it down. But I'd feel disappointed. Yeah, a little bit. It sucks. It feels really good when a video hits. Right, and you're like, you know, yeah, they can't all be gold, you know. Yeah. But I was gonna ask. How does the negativity, you know, uh, do you get negativity I have comments to tune it out. and stuff? I have to, yeah, and it's unfortunate. Like, and how does that affect yeah. also sobriety? Y- oh, stuff? yeah. Does that? Yeah, it's, I've had to really, really watch it because I've gotten, I mean, I remember the first week of getting comments. So many of them were like, you're amazing. You're hilarious. You're so funny, blah, blah, blah. And they would, that those comments would make me feel on top of the world. But then I also would get a comment that said your head looks like a potato, and that really bothers me. <laughs> I've I've had I had to go and through I went, that oh, once what? upon a time. No, I don't want to look like a potato. Right. But then, but 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 the good news is, is at that point, I was I saw it for what it was. Was oh that person must not be that happy because if happy people don't write mean things. But then over time, it starts to really get to a person. Right. And so I had to start tuning it out. You have to have very thick skin. Unfortunately, I started un- tuning out the good too. Ooh. So I've kind of become numb, to right, be honest, right. to a lot of the comments. Well, a lot of people, yeah. I mean, so like I if you look in the YouTube comment section of of any video, it's like the m- it just devolves into the most toxic fucking. And I hate that term. It's, it's toxic. so toxic, you know. Because it it's really such a is though. 2019 I mean, weird term, like. Yeah, but it is though. But it is. Anything that's it's the not most toxic, is, negative, like. Yeah. Well, you know what? The, the filth and the beauty of the things. internet is it gives us access to li- unlimited information. The tragedy of the internet is it's given every asshole a voice. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true. I used to have to go through it. I mean, there was a time in my life because of my fiance, like I'd have to go through it and I'd have to have very thick skin and that's not my bag. I mean, even when I hit my bottom, I mean, there were some horrible fucking things going around about me. So I was just like, you, you just got to tune, tune it out, out. Yeah, you have or to shut t- down your fucking social. I just shut it out. Opinions about you are none of your business. None of my that's business. Like, that's basically otherwise it'll get in the way of my creation, which it, it has. It has. Of I course. I don't create as much as I used to. Well, because you think you start needing to create for what they want you to be instead Rather of what than you, who you are. Up. Yeah. And that's why I loved Vine so much because it was so spontaneous. It was right. So in the moment. It was so right. like, oh my God, that was hilarious. Let's film it. Let's post it. Go. There was no right. like, okay, I'll post, I'll, t- I'll film it next week. It's like already we've lost a week of like where the inspiration cut. Came yeah. From. And right. Now, and then we're going to post like, it a week later. Because you got to edit it. And, and it's like, it's our, the, the energy's lost now. Yeah. Like I like stuff. That's why I love improv. Is because it's so pre- like this is so present. We're so present sure. here. I we're love not, being like, present. Discussing what we're gonna do in three weeks. Where you're like, okay, let's hope that magic is still there. No, it may be. I don't know. <laughs> so it's it's interesting, and it has a f- it's affected me. But I'm still gonna do it. I'm ta- I'm taught to show up and make stuff anyway. Oftentimes I'll I'll make appointments to film stuff, and when the day comes, I don't want to do it. Right. But that the guy's coming and I don't want to disappoint him. So oftentimes I'll do it out of people pleasing, but then I'll be so grateful that I did. Cause I'll love the content and I'll go just, it's like going to the gym. I was just about to like say, so like going to the put gym. Your shoes on anyway. <laughs> just go anyway. Re- don't worry about working out. Just go to the gym. Every, si- and you know what? And that's a uh, God, you really touched on something because I, I think that's the same with, with people that are like us, you know, uh, Almost every single thing that I have to do or that I like uh, keeping appointments and keep it like I instantly wake up that day. And I'm like, I don't want to do it. How can I, how can I get out of this? I don't like do work. It <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fucking work anything. And then ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time I'm like, I'm so glad I did this. But getting over that initial like, 
I don't want to fucking do this at all. And not you taking know? that voice and like following it rather, rather to just say, thanks for sharing. I'm going to do it anyway. Right. Cool. Yeah. Classic, classic that you want to do it. You don't want to do it, but we know we're going to do it. How do you think your craft would be different without social media? Do you think you'd be doing more improv or more stand up and more like, yeah, I would probably need to feed that beast a little bit more of like performing on some level. Sure. Um, or I would just become a therapist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. I don't even know if I would do comedy. Well, you know Cause what? I don't want to do like, I like being on stage, but I don't love the atmosphere of staying out till midnight around other comedians. Right, that are drinking. Right, like, right. It's just not my vibe. And well, the here, energy's, here's the beautiful thing. Uh, the, just the, the world around us is our very own like comedy show. Mm. It's, uh, you know, I like to describe it as a, uh, it's like a video game, right? And everybody you come in contact with are just other little players in the video game. You know, you come in contact with like someone that's <laughs> causing you some sort of friction, and you're like, I've meet the boss for this level. <laughs> the level is the day that we're in, you know, and uh, I got to beat this level. I got to get past <laughs> this main boss right now, and, uh, and it could be literally your boss, you know, at a job or wherever, you know, it's somebody that just, you know, Got to get past this person. And most of the people are just filler, you know. But you do have these little interactions with people, and you can, you know, I don't know. I, anybody I come in contact with throughout the day, I use them to my advantage to have fun with. Like, my girlfriend's always like, do you have to talk to everybody? I'm like, yes, yeah. I do, because... There, you know, I, I, I need the, the, the lifeblood of the, I got to, you know, <laughs> I got to I just have fun with everybody. That's you know, great. you yeah, have to like because we are only here once. And it's like these are the people we're dancing with. Mm -hmm. Well, then what is the lesson in the moment? I always say, you know, what I mean, why are you here? Why have you if you believe in something? Right. Then why are you here? Why are why are why is this happening right now? Yeah. What is either the lesson what are you doing here? Where am I supposed to progress from this situation? Like I always look at everything as not an opportunity, but you know, exactly the way it's supposed to happen. And you talk about the, the climate of, you know, <laughs> hanging out, you know, till late at night with other comedians and they're drinking, using, and, uh, you know, do you find that since you've gained, you know, uh, a large social media following and everything do you have anybody that's like uh like the fake friends the clout chasers the if people i do that you know if i do i don't know it unfortunately i'm a little too trusting and if if people are trying to take advantage it goes right over my head because of my perception so either i don't attract that type of person like like they don't even come into my radar if that makes sense mm -hmm. like water like because I just don't feel I'm vibrating at that frequency to where people are coming in trying to take anything, if that makes sense. Or maybe I just don't view it that way. If I view everything as like, oh, I'm just giving away, so like if if I'm just a channel, it's not about me anyway. What can I? What can they even take? I don't know. No, right. I, I, I know what, what I mean. mean. But but that's I guess that is there for a lot of people. Um, if it is there for me, I'm not aware of it. <laughs> You're a pretty genuine person. The people right. I see you surround yourself to are pretty genuine. Yeah, I think I like at your birthday really good party. Like your, everybody was everybody super was great. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got good people. I'm like around. you got a good fucking group of yeah, friends, they're, they're man. Very oh yeah, good, good people. All mean well, all doing their thing. And your dad's great. Your dad's great. <laughs> he's great. You know? That's awesome. I got Russell now, my oh, you puppy. Got your puppy? What he, kind? I thought you were bringing him today. Where is he? Why? I know. Well, Wasn't I have an here? appointment after this, and he can't be at that appointment. Is so, he a, so someone's watching. Is he right a Jack now. Russell? No, but that would be he? cute. He's a Maltese Yorkie Chihuahua. Wow. He's stupid cute. Awesome. Named Russell. Today, he went on his first walk. Wow. Went on his oh, first walk. He's a little baby. He's a puppa. Like, oh carry God! I, I, I just oh. melt over little tiny babies and little puppies. And I'm gonna show you. Please, uh oh, here you we go to. with the puppy parent. While you're pictures. looking for that, uh, I, you know, I know we got to wrap up here. We got to wrap up um, here. She's I wanted to ask you, what do you think you would be doing if not this? If not social media? If not, you said therapist. Yeah, therapist. NLP practitioner. I'm actually starting to get into event planning where I hold events where I speak on this type of stuff, but giving people access to experiences like um, like 
spiritual experiences like moving the body around breath work speaking sharing oh, cool. connecting i wanted to start getting into that um but if yeah if comedy wasn't my th- jam i would probably be an nlp practitioner and help people in that way with that modality bitching one-on-one. well i know you got an appointment to go to oh, um thank you why don't <laughs> why don't we wrap up here but uh, i wanted to give you a chance we wanted to give you a chance uh shout out Every single one of your social medias right now. So people, if they aren't already known, now they can be known. Yes, it, it's all under one name, Manon Matthews. So at Manon Matthews, M-A-N-O-N-M-A-T-H-E-W-S on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Are you on Snapchat? I am. <laughs> I make some good, fun stuff on there. Do you? Nothing. Are you on OnlyFans? Nothing naked. No, what is that? <laughs> Would you say nothing kidding. naked? Nothing naked, Justin. Gotcha. That answers We're at the ma- question. At nothing <laughs> naked at Snapchat.com. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Bummer. We're so happy that you came out here and did this today. Yeah, I'll yeah. come again, too. For round two, part two. That's what they all we say. Have unfinished business. <laughs> well, we do have unfinished business. I'll I come again. Bless awesome. your heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah we do you. want you back on as a recurring, if you will. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks All right. Guys, thanks for listening. Guys, thank you for listening. Manon's going to leave. And yeah, we're wrapping it up. Thanks for listening to the Redemption Podcast, episode three. Episode three. All Next right. time will be episode four. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, go ahead. We got in there. I don't need to add in there. I got a piece so bad. I just blood on your chair. Did you do that? <laughs> Don't touch it. Did you, really should I leave that in chair? there as well? I That's so awesome. You really I were on your period. Shirt. I'm really on my period. Are you kidding me? I fucking bled on your chair. Like, <laughs> you bled on my chair. You nasty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Still recording.